Eh, Ora Musa dan kwana pamiamu atimu akwa ban from happy morning show nso. Eh, mejimo so. Bidiri sempo mboko de. Na mi na do. Yen sha si am from free a the post that you've conducted. Yen from say from June, July of 2022 up until Sabri and talking about the popularity of the government. Uh, do, do, ha, has there been any indication say the government of the day is becoming unpopular month after month? All right, thank you very much um, for having me. Um, we have kept data about the approval of the president and then the direction of the country, mm. the two of which are linked directly. And if you look at the trend that we have seen, the number of voters who said Ghana is headed in the wrong direction has been on the increase. Uh, it fell slightly, uh, I think, sometime around July, but it went up again in October, which means people are becoming a bit worried about where we are headed as a country. Again, if you look at the approval rate of the president, it follows the same curve as the direction of the country. Uh, is that this approval is very high at the moment, around 63% or so as of October. So generally, uh, people are very pessimistic about the direction of the country and to the extent that it's affecting the president's approval rate. Mami Musa, what really is informing their pessimism to say that the country is headed in the wrong direction? I think there is another question about the standard of living. I mean, everything that happens in this country is about the standard of living. And that is getting worse for uh, voters generally. And those who are optimistic that it will change, it's not coming down fast enough, I mean, to benefit the government. So these are the things that are driving voters' perception about where we are heading as a country. And then ultimately the approval of the, of the president. Is there a possible juxtaposition? Sir Yem Fan is said the popularity of the government is waning. And so for if we were or if we are to vote, there is a higher possibility, sir, even the government of the day, the party no, will not be able to garner about a uh, forty percent of the total valid vote cast. I mean, this has been popular if you look at the poll numbers like by October. Um, when we ask voters who they intend to vote for, uh, adjusted number, 48% said they would vote for uh, uh, Mahama. Mm -hmm. And 28% said they would vote for Mahomia if he is a candidate. And 11% said they would vote for Alan if he, if he contests. So this is the current standing in the polls. Not just indirectly, whatever the government is doing is likely to have an impact on the Onipa and as a Penini Biara Obedi party into the 2024 general elections. Uh, absolutely. I mean, this election will be fought on the economy, economy, jobs, jobs. Full stop. I mean, if, if you can't turn around the economy, you will not win the election. If you can't provide jobs that would be uh, impactful to change people's perception and mind. You won't win the election. Full stop. How critical do you think, sir, the elections are NPP Ebeko on the fourth of November? No, is. I mean, they are at a crossroads. I mean, to elect flag bearer who would have to defend their record, who has to assure with it. The economy that they are worried about, he can fix it. And that the job that they are worried about, he can fix it. So whoever they elect must be able to answer these questions. How much of work and Ujiri said party no the mantra of breaking the eight no obetimi amana bamua it was say o put it in to ensure say the Gain that or they regain that popularity uh, before the D Day on the 7th of December 2024. And look, I mean, look, no, let no one deceive anybody. You know, yeah, we speak direct to the 
West. We don't play with the West. We don't, you know, look at people and say, oh, no. We say it's additive. The numbers are so bad that it will take a Herculean task for MPP to turn around the race at this stage. I don't know what they can do with the next budget, whether they can turn around the economy within the next 14, 12 months. I don't know. I really don't know. So that is what they have to focus on. It's mm. the economy, economy, and nothing else. Is the economy... If, mm. if people are feeling the way they are feeling today, going 2024, they will lose the election. And as the polls have shown, they are losing the election because of the situation in the country. That's what the poll numbers are saying. And before that, it was harder because, I mean, things were bad. It's got a lot harder with Alan in the race at Butterfly. Alan has taken over 90%, I mean, over 90% of Alan food is coming from MPP, not NDC. But uh, um, let's let's deal with a bit of a yes specifics. Um, so these polls that you conduct, most of the times, uh, one more, one more, a year, uh, data analyst will be asking of the sample size, the a uh, year uh, margin of error. Um, which me Eddie uh, make uh, these predictions, no, because yeah. I mean these are really interesting predictions. From the polls, our conduct here, and as a global info, uh, analytics, our conduct from last year up until now. Uh, error of margin in the polls, you no, know, it is saying the sample sizes that I've been using over a period of time, you no, know, and also it is saying. Okay, let me tell you, our margin of error has never been below 1.7. The margin of error has never been below 1.7. Yes. Okay. So, on the average, every time we go, it's about 1.7, 1.9 margin. It's never been higher than that. Mm. And then if you look at the statistical tools, you, data analysts are not statisticians. Their work are different. No statistician has come out to debunk our sample size. If they have, they should come out. Sample size is determined by a formula, not by somebody sitting in his kitchen. And formulas are mathematical. So if you put the mathematical ingredients into the formula and it's wrong, it can be proven that you're wrong. Yeah, our sample size has never been below 5,500 nationwide from April 2022 to today. It has never been below 5,500? No. If you go to United States of America, their sample size has never been 3,000 for a vote of 240 million. Mm. And they're able to make a accurate prediction or Absolutely. near accurate predictions. Absolutely. Because they, they, there is unbiased way of the sample distribution. We're not here to get anybody. We are here to get accuracy. So we deploy the sample in a way that is scientific, that is proportional. And we do the polling randomly across randomly selected constituencies. Okay. So we don't target areas we go. Yanko has because we we strong hold. Yanko ha we a big big point. We don't do that here. Hmm. Ramuza Dankwa, uh and I pay me no asset, sir, would you pin ye na when you have to happy morning show it's been interesting uh talking to you this morning. Thank you very much.